All right, so this is the original Catacomb, Catacomb 3D, which came out in 90, I think 1990, which makes it one of the very first first-person shooters ever, right? I remember there was Megatron, there was um, Hover Tank 3D, and a Catacomb 3D. So this is like, oh man, this is crazy. This is really old. Oh my god, this music. Do you know what this music is from? It's from Cat Commander Keen, yeah. <laughs> The music is from Commander Keen, I can't believe it. Yeah, this is from a, a level in uh, Commander Keen Goodbye Galaxy, I believe. Because I remember... Yep, I remember this music. It's from... It's from, I can't believe this is from... Uh, Com they took the Commander Keen music and put it in this game. Amazing. And definitely I played Catacomb Abyss. So this actually came out before Catacomb Abyss. So there's these troll guys, you actually see them in Catacomb Abyss. But, um... Catacomb 3D is where they first appeared. Okay, interesting. And you definitely see these kind of levels too. Yeah, these little troll guys. Man, I can definitely see that it's not as polished as Catacomb Abyss. Yep. Oh, man. They're gonna have these little portals, okay. Entering Nemesis Keep. Okay, so that was fairly simple. Still the same music. Still can't believe they used the Commander Keen Goodbye Galaxy music. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, this came out way before, uh, this came out a year before Catacomb Abyss, I believe. So um, yeah, that's why it looks, the interface is definitely not as as polished as in Catacomb Abyss. And, uh, but the monsters and stuff are definitely very familiar. It's troll guys. I also noticed that, um, okay, they have bolts and nukes. They don't have the, oh, is this one? The bolts? Okay, so that's, I guess that's, that's this one, right? Oops. Nope. What, what is the bolts? Bolts. I know there's three different types of weapons in Catacomb Abyss, so... Hmm. Okay, is this how they're doing it? This is a key? Okay, so that's this is like a permanently igniting wall. I need to find a key. hurt by something. Controls, there's just a bunch of controls. Nukes, so I got a nuke, I wonder how I even use that. Um, I wonder if they have the destructible walls, because I know in Catacomb Abyss you had to like hit the walls to destroy them, and it'll reveal like a secret passage, but maybe not, maybe not in uh, Catacomb 3D, yeah, you used to be able to hit these walls with the blood stains, and then they'll, they'll reveal a secret passage, but maybe not with Catacomb 3D, maybe it's not implemented here, okay, very simple, you move on to next cage, ground floor, okay. It's always these trolls. I wonder if there's another enemy here. Oh, there it was. There we go. There was a secret hidden passage. Okay, interesting. Musty chamber, hidden storage room. This is really, uh, it's, I mean, this is not a great game, it's just a historic game because this is one of the very first first-person shooters. We're talking about before Catacomb Abyss, which means it's before Ken's Labyrinth, before Wolfenstein 3D, before Doom, before any of these games. So this is, it's just not a, it's not like it's the best game, but um, certainly didn't age well, but it's definitely historic, right? Being one of the very first um, first-person shooters ever, right? Before Ultima Underworld, I should mention that game as well, right? before any of those games. This is in 1990. I mean, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, the only 
FPS that possibly predated this was like Catacomb, um, not Catacomb, Hover Tank 3D, and possibly Megatron VGA. The only the only FPSs I know of that kind of predated this. Okay, and when you get a key, there's no uh, <laughs> nothing telling you that it just disappears. Okay. And I was just running around to get the freaking keys. I only see one type of enemy so far, the trolls. I don't even know how to use the bolts and the nukes. I wonder how I use those. Oh, okay. That's how I use the bolts, okay. So this is the same thing as you get in Catacomb Abyss then. The bolts. And the nukes... Oh yeah, that's the nukes are the same thing as the... Uh, oh, okay. So the bolts and nukes are basically the same thing as what you get in Catacomb Abyss. They're just represented a little bit differently here. And blue key, there we go. It's interesting they call them bolts and nukes. I guess that's their official name, huh? It's so a blue key and I see the blue firewall here. Second floor. So uh, in Catacomb Abyss, you can actually destroy these chests accidentally if you hit it, but not in this game. Uh, this game, I'm I'm probably gonna this is probably gonna be the last level because it's um it's a very repetitive game. <laughs> so it's definitely not as good as Catacomb Abyss, guys. Catacomb Abyss and uh, Armageddon Apocalypse they actually have a wide variety of stages. Whereas um, this game, obviously, you can tell is a very early version, like a prototype of Catacomb Abyss. It's almost like a demo, right? But the, all the environments are very similar in this game. They're very, very similar. So there's, there's, uh, it's kind of repetitive, so I don't even want to go on too much. Whereas in Catacomb Abyss, and, uh, there's a lot of different environments, a lot of different enemies. In this game, there's only a few enemies. So... I mean, I've only I've only seen one enemy so far, which is the troll, and that's it. I haven't seen any other enemy yet, so it's uh, gotten a little bit repetitive, and all the environments look the same. <laughs> so definitely not as good as Catacomb Abyss. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, pretty much more of the same, I bet. Yeah, pretty much the same. Oh, wow, okay. They do have these guys, okay. Okay, they have something, something a little bit different. So they have these bigger trolls, okay. Interesting. So they have this small, these smaller guys, these dwarves or whatever, and then they got the bigger trolls. Oh, interesting. We saw something different. That's good. Yeah, th those guys are also in, in Catacomb Abyss as well, the bigger trolls. And so it's uh, interesting. And then the smaller dwarf guys as well, obviously. Okay. So those guys now I know where they came from. from Catacomb 3D. Alright guys, so uh, I'm probably just gonna stop here. This is Catacomb 3D. This is a very basic version of Catacomb. Uh, it's just interesting because it's so historic, right? It's one of the very first first person shooters ever made. Um, came out yeah, way before Ultima, Ultima Wonderworld, Ken's Labyrinth, um, Doom, Wolfenstein 3D, Catacomb Abyss, which already is one of the very first FPS games. This one came before all those. So, yep, um, just obviously it looks like a prototype game, right? It doesn't really look finished. That's what Catacomb Abyss is. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Catacomb 3D. Very interesting kind of prototype FP FPS game. Just very historic. Um, just like Hover Tank, I guess. And uh, that's it, guys. Um, I think along with Hover Tank 3D, this kind of pioneered first-person shooters. Uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.